you may want to listen to this one because this is part of it. Write this example down. Multiply 55 miles per hour by 6 hours. Now, here is where most people go wrong when they look at and do stuff like this. Let me write this down in big letters so you understand this. Or maybe I won't. Labels are important. Okay. And most people get these problems wrong because they're lazy. And up until this point, some teachers make you label, some teachers don't make you label, but if you don't label on a lot of these things, you're just going to get them wrong because you really have to. Because labels are just like numbers and they'll cross off if they can or whatever. Now, let's look at this. What am I multiplying? The two things I'm multiplying together are 55 miles per hour times 6 hours. Well, what does that look like? First of all, the word per. Anybody? We talked about the word per, Riley. The word per is... Meaning that it goes that far in one hour. That's what this, that's what this is, but I'm wondering, what does the word per mean? P-E-R. Anytime you see the word per, you should think, Kate... Out of 100. Nope, that's percentage. Per, we got close, but cent would be out of 100. The word per by itself is, Jaden... Huh? Yes, I need even farther. Brew? The word per, Emily? Multiplication. No. It is not. Sometimes it is, but not always. In this case, it is. I'm going to give you one more shot. Like each? Yeah, sure. Per is a fraction line. So if you're talking about 55 miles per hour, it looks like this. 55 miles per hour. Now notice they don't give you a number with the hour, but when it's there's no number there, it's a one. If you're going 55 miles per hour, that means in one hour you go 55 miles. But the first one given before the per goes on top. And what am I multiplying that by? Six hours. Now this is a fraction, so I need to make this a fraction. How do I make anything a fraction that isn't a fraction? You just put a 1 on it. And this is what I said is important, especially for next year. Okay, Labels are just like numbers. If you have the same label on bottom as on top, they cross off. Hours actually cross off. If you're driving 55 miles an hour and you drive for 6 hours, you just take 6 times 55, which is 330, and what label is left? Just this one, miles, which is what is true. If you go 55 miles an hour for 6 hours, you've gone 330 miles. Nowhere is hours left to talk about. And that's what you have to understand. That's the whole rate issue for today. You are looking for labels and numbers that cross off. Okay, but you can't just write down the numbers, you have to put the labels down as well. Another example would be, um, if you make three dollars, if you make three dollars per hour, and you work for eight hours, What's going to cross off? The label's hours. And that means you make 8 times 3, 24 dollars. Hours are gone. You don't have to say the word hours, it's gone. Or how about this one? Uh, uh, well, here's one from the book. Write this one down. Multiply. 
18 teachers by 18 teachers by 29 students per teacher. 29 students per teacher. What would that look like on your paper? Well, what do you want? What two things are you multiplying together? You're multiplying 18 teachers, multiplying it by 29 students per teacher. Writing that on your paper, you don't have to copy the problem. This is what I need to see on your paper. 18 teachers, make it a fraction by putting it over 1. You're multiplying it by 29 students per teacher. And then on your paper, I'm going to see what gets crossed off. Now let's talk Elijah. Teachers. Teachers, because it's the same label on top as on the bottom. And then you're going to multiply 18 times 29, which is the same thing as 18 times 30 minus 18, right? So 530 minus 18 is what? 530 something? 540 minus 18, 532? Is 29 times 18, 532? Let's check and see. 72, 7, 16, 23, 29. How about 522? 522. 522? What? How about 522? No, 32. 522. 522. So your answer would be 522 students. You have to give your label that's still left. But that's what you're looking for is to get labels and numbers. If numbers would cross off, you'd want to cross them off too. Here's another example from the book. 160 kilometers in two hours. 160 km in two hours times 10 hours. Let me put that over the one. What can you cross cancel there? A couple things. Is a value you can cross off? Um, hours. Hours. And not only can you cross off hours, Emily, you can cross off? Um, make it to a 1 and a 10. Correct. Or you could do the 2 into 160. It doesn't matter. One of the two. And then 5 times 160 is Keith? Uh, no, I'm hoping 800. And your label that's left is kilometers. 800 kilometers. Wow, oh, that is sure exciting. We are going to stop there with the excitement of the day.